to the President of the General Assembly, Mr. Abdullah Shahid, and the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Antonio Guterres, we thank you for this opportunity to address this high-level meeting on the appraisal of the Global Plan of Action to Combat Trafficking in Persons. We here at the National Center on Sexual Exploitation in Washington, D.C., and the International Center on Sexual Exploitation in the U.K., continue to believe in a world free from sexual abuse and exploitation. We maintain that the trafficking of women and children, particularly girls, for the purpose of sexual exploitation will not cease until we deal decisively with consumer level demand for commercial sex. The estimated $99 billion annual profits from sex trafficking may be pocketed by traffickers, but it is paid for by sex buyers. We have documented at least 15 demand reduction tactics successfully employed by law enforcement in more than 2,400 cities and counties in the United States. These tactics have proven to be successful and they can be employed within a human rights-based approach while generating revenue for survivor support services. We remain deeply concerned about the ongoing rationalization of harm, the truncation of the definition of sex trafficking and references directly or indirectly to child sex work or child sex workers. Institutional review boards must be more observant of these ethical issues that obfuscate harm and undercount the number of women and girls that are trafficked and exploited in the sex trade. Finally, the nexus between sex trafficking and the technology sector cannot be ignored and no longer can we be silent observers of the sexual violence and exploitation of women and children on both pornography and prostitution platforms. We thank you for this opportunity to make the submission and we look forward to collaborative efforts to combat trafficking in persons and end consumer level demand for commercial sex.